Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. As promised in my recent videos about Ledger's Nano X and Nano S Plus hardware wallets, in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your Nano S Plus Ledger wallet. But before we get to that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. Besides that, while this video is not directly sponsored by Ledger, I want to point out that I received both Ledger wallets, so also the Nano S Plus I'm using in this video, from Ledger for the purpose of recording my original unboxing videos. And since I already covered Ledger's history and the benefits of hardware wallets in my initial Ledger Nano X unboxing video that you can find by clicking on the card up here, I'm not going to repeat all of that here and we can jump straight to the actual setup of your new Ledger Nano S Plus hardware wallet. Now in order to set up the Nano S Plus or Nano X, you will need the Ledger Live application installed on the computer running Windows, Mac or Ubuntu the micro USB cable that you received with your Ledger hardware wallet and obviously the hardware wallet itself. And just to be clear, in this video I'm going to set up the wallet by creating a new recovery phrase. If you however want to restore an existing wallet, maybe because you upgraded from a previous Ledger wallet or your old one got lost or damaged, then the steps are slightly different, but I will also point out the difference in this video. First, once you installed the Ledger Live app on your computer, it's time to plug in your new Ledger Nano S Plus hardware wallet and wait until you can see the welcome message. This is an important step, especially if you bought your Ledger hardware wallet not from an official reseller. If you do not see the welcome message, but instead are asked for a pin code, it would mean that someone else already set up the wallet and also knows the recovery phrase. In that case, you should check out the link in the video description down below to first reset the wallet before you continue with the setup. If you can see the welcome message, you can now press the right button until you either see the restore from recovery phrase option if you plan on restoring another wallet as mentioned earlier, or the setup as new device option that we are going to use in this video. In order to select the option, you have to press both buttons at the same time and once you select it, set up as new device, you'll be asked to set up your four to eight digit pin code. By pressing both buttons once, you can see the choose pin code with four to eight digits option on the screen. You can change each number by using the right or left button and moving on to the next digit by pressing both buttons again. Once you've at least four digits confirmed, you can save your pin code by selecting the check mark icon and again pressing both buttons. You'll then be asked to confirm your pin code by entering it once again, just to make sure that you actually entered and remembered the pin code you selected in the previous step. Once that's done, we actually get to see the 24 word recovery phrase word by word. All we have to do is again press both buttons to lock in the write down your recovery phrase option and then write down the first word on the the recovery sheet that you also can find in the box that you got your wallet in or alternatively write it down somewhere else. Here it is important to consider that you do not want to store this recovery phrase anywhere on your computer or mobile phone or any other device that is connected to the internet because it would defy the entire purpose of owning a hardware wallet that never exposes your keys and recovery phrase to the internet. If a sheet of paper isn't permanent enough for you, there are also products out there that allow you to store the 24 words in engraved metal. Once you've written down the first word, you can press the right button to navigate to word number two and so on until you've written down all 24 words. In the next step then, once you select confirm your recovery phrase by again pressing both buttons simultaneously, you'll have to confirm your recovery phrase by selecting the right words that Ledger is asking for. And after that, you just have to press the right button to navigate through the rest of the on-screen instructions and press both buttons again to complete the setup. With that done, you can now manage your Ledger Nano S hardware wallet in the Ledger Live application on your computer and use it to install apps and add or create wallets for different blockchains. In the future, whenever you want to perform transactions or manage the installed apps and wallets, you can simply connect your wallet again to your computer and unlock it by entering the pin on the device. And that's it. With that, you have your Ledger Nano S Plus hardware wallet set up fully and you can now use it as a secure storage for all your crypto holdings. 
If you have any questions or issues during the setup, I recommend to first consult Ledger's help center at support.ledger.com or to reach out to them via email. I'm going to reset this wallet now since I've shown the recovery key or recovery phrase during the video and will set it up with my actual recovery phrase from my other Ledger Nano X hardware wallet instead. Keep in mind, besides setting up the wallet, there's a lot more you can do with your new hardware wallet, like for example, connecting it to MetaMask so you can use your wallet on platforms like Uniswap or PancakeSwap as well, all while your recovery phrase and private keys are never exposed to the internet. Anyways, that's it for today. As mentioned in my previous video, I might also record a comparison between the Nano S Plus and Nano X wallet in the future, once I've used both of them for some time, but I guess we'll have to see about that. Thanks for watching, see you in one of my other videos, till then, bye bye.